the top 10 places and things you should know before visiting Carlsbad, California. Today, we'll visit everything from the beaches and parks to historic attractions and much more. We'll start in the heart of Carlsbad Village, then we'll visit popular destinations like the flower fields, the beaches, historic parks and ranches, the world famous Legoland, and the only volcano you can climb in San Diego. We'll explore activities you can do here, including shopping, dining, and entertainment. Then we'll visit a few of the lesser known areas most tourists miss. Carlsbad is a coastal town 35 miles north of downtown San Diego. It has seven miles of coastline with beautiful beaches, surf breaks, and bluffs. For thousands of years, the area was home to the Luiseno and Kumeyaay people. Then Spanish missionaries controlled the region until 1821, when Mexico gained its independence from Spain. In the 1880s, an alkaline mineral water spring was discovered and the town was renamed Carlsbad after the famous spa town in Bohemia. The town quickly developed. Today, Carlsbad is celebrated for its tourist attractions, world-class golf courses, premium shopping, restaurants, and beaches. Here are the top 10 places and things to do in Carlsbad, California. Beginning in the heart of Carlsbad, Carlsbad Village is the historic downtown district and commercial center. One of the most recognizable buildings is the Twin Inn, a Victorian era style mansion built in 1887. You can find it right next to the iconic Carlsbad sign, and it's representative of a lot of the architectural style in the area. One of the most popular shopping centers here is the Carlsbad Village Fair, known for its boutiques and an eclectic blend of highly rated international cuisine. This is also the main street where the biannual Carlsbad Street Fair takes place, which attracts over 100,000 visitors to the one-day event. If you take a walk across the four-way crosswalks, you'll find the nearby Carlsbad Inn Beach Resort, a boutique hotel by the beach with popular restaurants and cafes nearby. A block east of Carlsbad Village Fair is one of the most lively areas here called State Street. It's the main commercial and retail corridor in the historic Carlsbad Village. The street is home to a variety of local shops, restaurants, cafes, and boutiques including one of the highest rated ice cream shops in the United States. Handel's Ice Cream is consistently voted one of the best ice cream shops in America. They have everything from scoops to sundaes, milkshakes, and even vegan and dairy-free options. Most days, there's almost always a line, yet the great variety and reasonable prices make it a highly recommended visit. It's good. Just next door is the New Village Arts Center, a 150-seat theater that hosts a variety of live performances, plays, musicals, concerts, and events. And on Wednesday from 2 to 7 p.m., you can visit the weekly Farmer's Market on Roosevelt Street and Grand Avenue. Carlsbad Village is an excellent place to spend a day exploring the restaurants and shops, and being just steps away from the beach, it's an area worth staying for a day or two. As a bonus, a few local favorite food stops are Crackheads, a restaurant and bar built into a creative storage container structure. There's Barrel Republic and Campfire on State Street. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Now back to the video. Next is a historic location that ultimately gave Carlsbad its name. In 1882, a former sea captain named John Fraser was digging a well on his farm when he struck an aquifer containing mineral water. The water was similar to the famous mineral springs in Carlsbad, Bohemia, now the Czech Republic, so he named it Carlsbad Mineral Water. The water was found to have health benefits when drinking and bathing in it. Fraser and others formed the Carlsbad Land and Mineral Water Company. They built homes, a hotel, a spa, and renamed the town Carlsbad. Today you can still buy water from the well here, and just down the street is the same train stop where Fraser first sold the water. Now it's home to the Coaster, which is a commuter train running from Oceanside to downtown San Diego. Next we're heading down the 5 freeway to what many consider amongst the most beautiful flower exhibits in the United States. The flower fields at Carlsbad Ranch is a 55-acre farm open every year from March 1st through May 12th. The vibrant display of giant Tecolote ranunculus flowers attracts visitors from around the world. The flower fields have been a local attraction for over 60 years, 
and during the blooming season, visitors can explore the fields, take photos, attend concerts and events. During the complete bloom, which happens in early April, there's an estimated 80 million flowers in full bloom, completely covering the landscape for as far as the eye can see. And nearby are the strawberry fields, a popular attraction and market where during season, visitors can often pick their own strawberries directly from the fields. If you plan to visit, it's always good to check the season and opening hours, as these can vary depending on the weather conditions and crop cycles. There's a range of outdoor activities all over Carlsbad, from the water sports and boating at Carlsbad Lagoon, to the popular Carlsbad State Beach campgrounds. Students or nature enthusiasts can learn about the local environment and watershed at the Agua Hedionda Lagoon Discovery Center, or you can take a short hike at Batiquitos Lagoon. Carlsbad is nicknamed the golf capital of the world. It's headquarters for golf companies like Callaway, TaylorMade, and Titleist, with world-class golf courses including the Omni La Costa Resort, Park Hyatt Aviara, and the crossings at Carlsbad. For this episode, I've been saving this footage to show you possibly one of the coolest hikes and hidden gems in San Diego. The Calvera Natural Preserve is home to an extinct volcano called Mount Calvera, a volcano that last erupted around 29 million years ago. What remains today is the hardened volcanic plug or neck that was left behind after the outer materials eroded. At an elevation of about 513 feet, you can hike the short trail to the top, and the summit has incredible views of the Carlsbad coastline and the surrounding neighborhoods. Not knowing a lot about this trail, we accidentally climbed up the center of the plug. But the safest route is a gentle trail that climbs around the outer edge of the mountain. If you haven't been here, I highly recommend it. It's a great outdoor activity with the opportunity to learn about the history of San Diego's volcanic past. Next is a peaceful ranch that we recently learned about when researching for this video, and I'm happy we visited. The Leo Carrillo Ranch Historic Park is a historic ranch that has been transformed into a public park. The 27-acre site was once the weekend retreat of actor Leo Carrillo, known for his role as Poncho in the 1950s TV series The Cisco Kid and almost 100 films from between the years 1927 to 1950. The park is known for the early 20th century adobe buildings, a reflecting pool, carriage house, cabana, stable, and barn. Visitors can take a self-guided walking tour and watch a 13-minute film to learn about the park's history. On Saturdays, you can take a guided 90-minute walking tour. The ranch is also open to the public for weddings and corporate events. In general, it's a great place to visit and enjoy a quiet atmosphere and have a picnic and imagine what it would have been like to have lived here on the ranch in the early 20th century. Another interesting place for a quick stop is the adobe ruins at Stagecoach Park. These are remnants of a former Stagecoach stop that was part of the historic Rancho Las Encinitas. It was thought to have been originally a two-story adobe structure, station, and inn. Near Carlsbad Village, Maggie Park is a 2.1 acre historic city-owned park that's one block away from the beach. It's home to three historic buildings from the founding days of Carlsbad, including the Maggie House, Heritage Hall, and the Granary. There are also picnic areas and beautiful rose gardens. Maxton Brown Park is a small park at the northernmost edge of Carlsbad. It overlooks the Buena Vista Lagoon, which is a nature preserve and the only freshwater lagoon here in Southern California. Carlsbad has some of the most beautiful beaches in San Diego County. Beginning at the far north is the Rue de Chateau Beach access point, which leads to the northernmost beach in Carlsbad bordering St. Malo Beach in Oceanside. The rocky beach has wide open expanse with sandy areas that are great for sunbathing. If you'd like to learn more about Oceanside, we have a video about all the best things to do there. I'll put a link to it in the description below. The main beach here is Carlsbad State Beach. It has almost everything you need for a good day at the beach, including beautiful sandy beaches, volleyball courts, a restroom and showers, a long boardwalk, and great surf. There's lots of room here just to set up in the sand and enjoy a day in the sun. It's a family-friendly environment with lifeguards on duty, 
and is right next to the Carlsbad Village, which has plenty of food options and things to do. Directly to the south is one of my new favorite beaches in San Diego, Tamarack Beach. This stretch of coastline is very well maintained and perfect for outdoor activities. Tamarack Beach is a popular surf break and the long boardwalk and bike lane along the highway make it perfect for a day at the beach. There's also restrooms and parking nearby. Continuing south, you'll find Terramar Point, which is a trail and bluff that overlook the ocean. Because of the views and trails, this is a popular spot to stop and watch the sunset. In southern Carlsbad is a popular surf beach called Ponto Beach, which is managed by the California State Parks. North Ponto Beach is known for the great surf, and there's a parking lot along the roadside and a long sandy stretch of beach. It's a perfect place to take a walk along the beach, enjoy some sunbathing, and the bike-friendly lanes are great for cycling and jogging. And a short distance away is South Ponto Beach, a family-friendly beach with lifeguards and parking right along the highway. I heard a lot of great things about this next spot, which is a local favorite and a not too well-known breakfast restaurant. It's almost hidden at the backside of a marketplace, and unless you're looking for it, you'd probably never know it was there. Tip Top Meats is a European-style deli, meat market, and restaurant here since 1967. They're known for their high-quality meats, poultry, imported European products, and specialty food items. One of the highlights is the all-you-can-eat meat breakfast for under $12. Today, we're doing the Big John's All You Can Eat over here at Tip Top Meats. Uh, I'm starting off with some home potatoes, three over easy eggs, polo sausage, and a bratwurst. It's an incredible value, and if you like old-timey diners with pre-inflation prices, this is a nice place to visit. Another place of interest is right across the street. This historic restaurant is a venue and museum. The Green Dragon Tavern is modeled after the original 18th century Green Dragon Tavern in Boston, which was a meeting place for Benjamin Franklin, John Hancock, and Sam Adams. The museum has free admission and visitors can explore exhibits and see a private collection of historic documents, including signatures from signers of the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution. The tavern offers New England-inspired food such as lobster rolls, chicken pot pie, steak tips, and cocktails. This part of Carlsbad is full of activities and things to do, and here you'll also find the Carlsbad Premium Outlets, one of San Diego's premier shopping outlets with over 90 designer and brand name outlet stores. A few popular stores include Coach, Kate Spade, Michael Kors, Nike, and North Face. Across the street is one of Carlsbad's most recognizable landmarks, one that's probably recognizable to many Southern Californians, the Windmill Food Hall is a unique location with over 12 different local food vendors and a full service bar. They have various weekly and monthly events, including live music, trivia nights, and happy hour specials. It's a great place to visit to try a variety of food or enjoy the lively atmosphere or even a car show. You can also rent the venue for special events like wedding receptions. Here are a few bonus spots I'd like to visit but didn't get a chance to see this time. The Museum of Making Music celebrates the history and impact of the music products industry, telling the story of how they're made, used, and sold. The museum has exhibits showcasing hundreds of vintage instruments and specialty displays, many of which you can play yourself. The Miniature Engineering Craftsmanship Museum is dedicated to the collection and display of carefully crafted objects and celebrates and encourages fine craftsmanship. There are over 500 working miniature engines, models of aircrafts, automobiles, and more. Legoland California is a theme park and aquarium featuring a range of Lego themed rides, shows, building workshops, and interactive attractions. It's great for children ages two through 12 or Lego enthusiasts of all ages. There are intricate models throughout the park built from millions of Lego bricks and there's also a water park and the Sea Life Aquarium, which provides plenty of options for a one or two day trip to the parks. Now let us know your favorite things to do in Carlsbad in the comments below. If you learned anything new or enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And for more content about Southern California and beyond, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. Now for more about what you can do while you're in the area, click right here.